So hi, I'm Jim Shagel here in San Carlos with the Gooey Duck Amphibian, which is created from an idea originally kind of copied off of an old Grumman Widgeon design, but it's all made out of fiberglass and therefore corrosion resistant so we can operate it in salt water without worrying about uh, things getting rusty and, and corroded and it also makes it a lot easier to repair if it gets damaged somehow. The construction is all just basic fiberglass with foam core so it could be repaired out in the wilderness with just a can of resin and some fiberglass cloth if you had to and uh, just an all-around neat airplane. So, so let's start going around. So some of the, the features we have, it has retractable floats which primarily allow it to get up to a dock. Uh, it's electrically act activated and the floats will move up and stow. There's an electric lock mechanism to lock them in the up position. And we have our anchor light here when we anchor the airplane out at night, we put these little pop-up lights on so people can see the floats and tell that it's an airplane anchored and not a boat. And again, the construction is all just basic fiberglass and easy to deal with. Uh, we carry fuel in the wing. The entire wing is, is a wet section. We can t carry a total of 360 gallons of fuel and there's ballast tanks on the outboard tip that we can pump water into. If we want to tip the airplane down on one side, we can pump water in that side to keep it from tipping back over again. Um, the water rudder, it's got a water rudder that retracts up into the air rudder. Uh -huh. The hinges are just a, a plastic bearing with a stainless steel rod that connects both the, uh, the rudder hinge and the elevator hinge are designed that way and it's not susceptible to corrosion, debris, anything. You can get in there, the bearing still works just as well. What is this? Um, these are mass balance weights to balance the elevator. Uh -huh. um, we're working on a design, hopefully a future design, we can incorporate these inboard of the structure here so you don't see them. It gives you less things to bump into. And one of our aerodynamic modifications, this is an attempt to uh, straighten out the airflow a little bit. We discovered we had a pretty good divergence in airflow behind the stabilizer. And so these vortex generators re-energize the airflow and instead before we put them on you'd see a, a line like this where you had turbulence above it and smooth air below it. With these vortex generators it brings that line up to about here. Hmm. So unfortunately the trim tab is mostly in the turbulent area, so not really as effective as it could be. Uh, future design, hopefully, will move that up or down to get a little better effectiveness there. Um, I'd like to bit about the engine. This is yeah, the back of the engine nacelle. This is the exhaust for the oil cooler. The actual cooler is mounted right here in the trailing edge of the wing. And the scoop just scoops up air and sends through here. This right here is a sump in the fuel tank. It's divided into, you can see the fuel drains are here. And if you take this cover off is where the fuel lines come out and the gas collator and that fuel valve is located there. So yeah, and this is the gas collator drain. So you, you can have about a gallon left in this sump. We have uh, float switches in the sump, so we have a low fuel indicator light. So we can see when the fuel level gets to here, the light comes on before the engine gets starved of fuel. Mm -hmm.
So we have, when we, when we first started flying the airplane, one of the first times we went to fill it up with fuel, the guy on the gas truck came with his grounding wire. And he went to clip it onto the wheel. And we said, well, wait a minute. That's not really going to work because it's no, attached no, to no. fiberglass. <laughs> yeah. And we started looking around and there's no place to hook it to. So we put this in. This is a, a grounding strip that's attached to the ground to the engine and the airframe. So. Where are these built anyway? I've never seen them as well. 